Hey guys, it's Nick from F150LEDs.com. Obviously, a critical component to our driving experience is the data that our gauge cluster gives us. But on our 04 to 08 F150 models, the gauge cluster is really dim, sometimes even hard to read. So Adam from our F150LEDs.com team is going to show us how easy it is to install LED backlighting to our gauge cluster. It's going to make reading this data a lot easier, plus it really gives a nice aesthetic upgrade to the truck because the instrument panel looks great after the LED install. Adam is going to show us how easy it is right now. Hey guys, it's Adam. The first step that we're going to do is we're going to pull back on this bottom plastic trim piece. There's two tabs on each side of your steering wheel with some firm pressure, pull back, they're going to just pop right out. Uh, tip with this install is as we're working with the bottom part of this trim piece, it's uh, pretty helpful to give you a little bit of extra room to go ahead and raise your steering wheel up all the way. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right guys, like I said, there are two tabs located right here on this plastic trim piece. So we're just going to, with some firm pressure, pull back, and they'll pop right out. And so we don't need to completely pull this down. We just need access to this small 7 millimeter size bolt, and there's another one just like it on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and remove both of these 7 millimeter size bolts, and we'll be ready to move on to our next step. All right, so now there are two tabs uh, on this upper trim piece, just like the bottom one, with some slight force pulling away from the truck. Just pull out and they'll pop right out. Now once you've kind of pulled these away from the truck, you don't want to pull too hard because there are two connections on each side of this truck that are giving power to these switches. So uh, to be able to remove this whole plastic trim piece, we're going to need to disconnect these two connections back behind here. Um, it is kind of difficult to see uh, during this part just because it's back behind here, but you just want to reach around behind the switch and there is a connection with a small plastic tab and you'll just push down on that tab and uh, pull back and it'll disconnect this here connection. So just like on the other side, just some firm pressure, pull away and this will pop right out, giving you access to this connection back behind this switch. So just reach back behind there. Once again, there's a little tab on this connection. You just press down and you'll be able to disconnect your switch. Now that these switches are disconnected, we'll be able to pull up on this upper trim piece there's a few tabs up located closer to the uh, front of your dash that you'll just pull towards you and it'll pop right out. So we'll set that off to the side. We removed that piece so that we could gain access to four seven millimeter size bolts that are located right here. So we're going to go ahead and take these bolts out real quick. All right, we went ahead and removed our four bolts. And so the last step before we can pull our gauge cluster out is to disconnect these two switches here at the top. So there's just a little push tab on each side. Uh, we'll take a key because it can be kind of difficult if you have a small screwdriver or something like that to push this tab down. That works as well. So we're just going to push down on that. That'll pull back. We'll do the same on this side. We'll disconnect these connections. And now we have our gauge cluster out. We're going to head on over to the bench to show you how to swap out the bulbs on the back. All right, now that we have our gauge cluster removed from our truck, we're going to go ahead and flip it over, and you'll notice that there is a plastic covering on the back of your gauge cl cluster uh, protecting this board and all the sockets. There are seven size 10 or 15 millimeter bolts that are on the back of this. Uh, we're going to take a T15 screwdriver and just go ahead and start removing these so that we can get this plastic covering off and gain access to our bulbs. Now that we've removed our plastic covering, that gives us access to our 10 bulbs on the back of this gauge cluster. So with a clock, counterclockwise turn, excuse me, uh, you can remove this socket, most of which you can do with your hand. If some of them are a little tougher, you can grab a wrench, uh, but it'll expose this glass bulb right here that was previously in the truck. We're gonna go ahead Wiggle this bulb out. You want to be careful when you're removing this bulb not to use too much pressure or the glass bulb can break. Now we're going to take our bulb from F150LEDs.com. Just slide it into place like so. And then we'll put it right back in this hole and give it a clockwise turn to lock it into place. We're going to do the same thing right here. Counterclockwise turn. 
and our bulb will slide right out, exposing our glass bulb. And then we're going to take our new bulb, slide it back in, and then give it a clockwise turn to secure it into place. Now we went ahead and did the rest of these bulbs. We just wanted to show you a few. And then now we're ready to go test this back in the truck. All right, before we put our plastic covering back on and reinstall everything back into place, uh, we're going to want to go ahead and plug these two connections back in and test out our gauge cluster. Because these bulbs are polar sensitive, it is very easy to install the bulb the wrong way, and then when you come to plug it in, it doesn't light up. Uh, we don't want that. So go ahead to test this, plug both your connections in. When you plug this connection in, your gauge cluster will flicker. Uh, don't worry about that, it's just the power coming back to the gauge cluster. Once you have the power uh, back on, turn your headlights on and that'll light this up. Now if you're looking at it and your turn signals don't light up or you see a dark spot in the gauge cluster, that just means you have the bulb on the wrong polarity. So you'll go to the back of the gauge cluster, take your bulb out, give it a 180 degree turn and then just reinstall it back into place. So once you do that, all your lights are lighting up perfectly. Uh, you can put it back into place. We've already tested ours. Everything's good to go. We put our plastic piece back on the back of our gauge cluster. And now there's all that's left to do is do our connections and then just reinstall all of our trim places and we're good to go. All right, guys, so that's all there is to installing our gauge cluster lights for our 04 to 08 F-150 truck. Uh, it really does improve the aesthetics of this truck. It makes it look a lot brighter, a lot easier to see at night. And we know you'll be pleased with this product. If you have any other issues with this install or you just want to see a step-by-step -step process tangibly, we do have a PDF on site uh, of the product page that you can print off and you can have it with you as you're doing this install to see pictures and a walkthrough of each step. Uh, so you can check out this product and all of our amazing custom LED products for your F-150 and Super Duty at F-150LEDs.com. We look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, guys.